um, traditionally, the man is the provider, the man protects, the man, you know, um, mm. is the alpha. Mm. And the woman um, nurtures her children. She cleans, she cooks. She's a modern, like, woman. I think the word is used is uh, modern. And, you know, I actually, I actually, like, found that interesting in the sense of you... I think it made sense. You saying an alpha woman who has this, this narrative in her head saying, I don't need a man. I don't need this. I don't, I can take care of myself. Why would an alpha man be attracted to that? Yeah. Yeah. I think like, I, I get that. Um, a hundred percent. Um, it, unfortunately it did make sense. Like at first, of course it offended me and I was like, how dare he? But then I was like, wait, that makes sense. So, so can I, sorry, can I clear, can you, um, can you repeat what you said? So you said, why would an alpha man? Um, so he, correct me if I'm wrong, Will, like he, he basically said, um, modern, a uh, modern women want a, a, a traditional man, but they're not traditional women. Meaning that yeah. a woman wants a man to take care of her. She wants him to be ABC one, two, three, but a woman nowadays, according to Will was can't cook, can't clean, can't is hoeing around. I think is the word you used um, things like that. And they're not acting like traditional women. And I think that I'm not gonna lie. Will like, like that kind of like messed with me <laughs> in the sense of like, well, I 100% agree. I, I do think that it is unrealistic to assume that every relationship has this 50 50. Um, there is obviously always a dominant, but I have to believe that there are some relationships where there is that 50 50. I think that unfortunately, in we have just normalized toxicity. I think that's the issue. Like the real issue, what it comes down to modern dating, we have normalized toxicity. Mm -hmm. uh, will I ever speak a bad name on my ex? No. Mm -hmm. Learned a lot from that. I'm, you know, hope they're happy. But it was a severely toxic situation that I should have left years prior to when I wasn't even left. I didn't even mm -hmm. leave. I was, I was thrown. I was discarded. Mm -hmm. So... I just think that's the issue nowadays. I think people are so terrified of facing themselves and being alone that they will stay in these situations where there's physical and mental abuse. And it is just like, they'll tolerate it because the mm. idea of like being your own person and being alone is literally terrifying. And it is, mm -hmm. it's not fun. Mm -hmm. Like, you, do you know what I'm saying? And I think, um, so like, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, Kathy, so, so like, um, there was this thing he said where he said, um, women who have this mentality, um, and I know, you know, um, being as a strong, like, you know, single woman as you were for so many years, mm -hmm. like, I don't need a man. I don't mm -hmm. need a man. I can take care of myself and correct me if I'm wrong, Will, but you were saying like a man, an alpha male would not be attracted to that. An alpha male needs a beta female. Yeah. No, and no, I no, don't know if no. I agree with that. No, so to just elaborate what I, on, on that. And then also Jason, I'm glad Jason here and he can also add his no, yeah, perspective, yeah, perspective as well. So what I'm not. saying is when you talk, you know, there, there's something called, you know, men and women are different, number one. So um, men are different, women are different and we see things differently. And uh, for men, a very masculine man, a man uh, for men, our natural role that we love to play because that's just, that's what men do is we, we love to be the provider and protector. It's innate within us. It's biologically hardwired for men to provide and protect. It's been working, it's been that way since the beginning of time. And there's research on it if you want to look it up. Um, so a very masculine man, prefer in his natural role, wants to be the provider and protector, right? And a masculine man, there's certain things that he's looking for in, in, a, in a woman. So if, if a man's already masculine, he's already strong, He's always, always looking for the feminine woman. He doesn't, he's already independent. He's already ambitious. He's already strong. He's already confident, right? So masculine men or very alpha, they're looking for a feminine woman. He's not looking for his, uh, for somebody just like him, right? And the thing is for very masculine men, they do care about a woman's sexuality. He doesn't want a hoe. 
Uh, he wants a woman to support him, the church that cares for him and loves him. He's looking for that femininity, right? And that's why a lot of women today, modern day women, uh, because of their situation, whatever happens, um, they're very masculine. So a lot of women today we have opportunities, you know, they're, uh, they're very career oriented. In order, be, in order to be career oriented, you have to be very, you have to have certain masculine traits to succeed in life. And, and, I, and, I, and I'm not saying don't do it, yeah. Go ahead and do what you think, but women today are very masculine now because of society and that we live in today. Um, but the thing is, these, what they don't understand is because every woman, whether you're masculine or feminine, you're still looking for the masculine man if you can attract that type of man. What they don't realize is if you're a very independent and strong and masculine woman, that masculine man is not looking for you. He may have sex with you, but he's not looking for, he's always looking for a feminine woman, a woman that's not promiscuous, a woman that's natural in her role because he, like men, men and women were different. You, know, you guys are biologically, biolog biologically have kids. So you're more in the nurturing, caring, raising kids. That's the normal biological role of, of a woman. Of a woman. So he's always, so he's, always, he's always looking for that. So he's not looking for a woman to be independent, to be the protect and provider to pay the bills. That's not what a masculine man is looking for. But a beta man who is more feminine, he will do that for you. But if you want a very masculine man that's confident, that's confident in his masculinity and that's confident in his masculinity, he doesn't want a very independent, strong woman. He's always looking for a very feminine woman that's looking. And then, like I said, and a lot of women will say, you know, that guy is a, if you can't handle a strong, independent woman, he is, he is a, what, what's, what's the word they always use? He's insecure. Right, he's insecure. He does, he does. He can't handle a strong woman. Um, <laughs> but that's not the. But Get that's, him. Get that's, him. That's that's why that's why a lot of women would say, um, but that, it's it's not it's not it's, it's not it's not insecurity. We're just we're just looking. We are attracted in different in different in different things. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I can. I got your point. I got your point. My turn. But 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 on. Okay. okay. So you have to be you know what do you however you say it, do you because you're about to take the whatever so i'm gonna be i'm gonna let you know you you yes i get your point about alpha and beta and you know flubber fish or whatever it is what you what have is to understand is there are some females that can be an alpha because they are passionate and whatever they wanted to do from whatever like say she wanted to be a pilot or she wanted to be a lawyer, whatever it can be. She can be alpha in that. But what you're trying to say is, you know, lower yourself. And I'm going to say, I'm going to ask MJ too. Like if you get into an argument with your man or whatever, you'll like talk to him different, right? Like you'll lower your voice and, you know, you'll be like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I think the point is like, just because your dude shouldn't even raise his voice at you. But when he raised his voice, you got to be able to say, hey, you know what? You're kind of getting kind of loud. You kind of want to bring it down a notch because it you matches energy. At it. You yeah, match you know energy. what I'm saying? So I think these are tools that um, really need to come. I'm going to speak for my females and I'm going to tell the female, yeah, we some bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shit, we can do this. We can push a car. We can, whatever the case may be. But if you want what you want in a relationship, you're going to have to lower some of your, you know, feminine shit to come down and, you know, rub his back, rub his head. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Make him toast and eggs or something like that. You are the female. And that's how we were built was to go ahead and calm the storm, calm the situation. Because if you have pets, you love on your pet, right? You'd be like, oh, what's the matter? You're sick. You have a Get child. my cat so back. Her. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're we're the nurturer we're the ones who are supposed to it's okay don't worry about it we're not it doesn't say to kiss his ass we're not trying to say to kiss his ass we're trying to tell you be feminine if you want to be feminine be feminine that's you know. all i wanted to say so uh, your so deliverance I'm, will auntie. <laughs> auntie, i would i would add, add on to auntie i'm sorry i'm sorry i would add on to auntie like i want to make sure a lot of women listen to this very clear i'm not saying yeah. no if you, if you want to be successful yeah pursue your dreams and, and do what you do. Yes. But I love what I said. When I, what, I, what, I, what I'm speaking on is when it comes to a, the intersexual dynamics of a relationship, when it comes to relationships, because I know a lot of successful and confident women, right? They, they're killing at their job. But when they come home, they put their wife on, their wife hat on, they put their femininity hat on. So they leave that, 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 uh, that masculinity at work because that's what you need to do to be successful at that part of life. But that, that does not work. When it comes to a relationship with a man so that's what i'm saying is if you can 
be successful. But when you meet a man, a very good man, a very masculine man, bring out your femininity because that's what men are looking for. But if you're not willing to no, make that switch, that. if you're not making, if, if you're not willing to make that switch, I'm telling you, like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to attract a guy because, like I said, a man's always looking for a very feminine woman. And okay, let Andrew. Wait, 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 Go ahead, uh, MJ. MJ. Let me, let me hydrate. Go ahead, girl. No, um, oh. William, 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 William. Okay, so, um, um, I am from. So I'm obviously. I said I'm from Texas, and I'm from a specific <clears throat> part of Texas called the Rio Grande Valley. I am northern Mexico. I'm from a border town. I'm from the mm. tip of Texas. Mm -hmm. um my family my father specifically my grandfather oh, I'm their first generation uh, mm -hmm. not only am I indigenous but like um we are first generation my father is what well, is an American citizen but he was not so I'm first generation like in theory so I I hear you William like I I and I am somebody who takes significant pride like you can't understand it like I take significant pride in cooking for my man mm -hmm. in cleaning um in servicing in any way I can mm -hmm. like it literally makes me fulfilled to take care of my man whether it mm -hmm. be sexually physically social like any aspect it's so funny like I literally joke with my friends because like obviously I was single and I was living with my, not only was I living with my ex, but I was living with my ex, his mother and his stepfather. So I, you know, was in a full mode of taking care of everybody. Mm -hmm. So when I shifted to this, to this household of being with my best friend and her husband, um, I found myself when his friends would come over, I start serving them. I start serving her. I start doing things because and, 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 you know, women who are going to say, like, I know women, there's certain women, and I get that I'm 29, I'm a little older. I, I get that. I get there's women that are, I don't need to cook. I don't need to clean. He should cook. He should clean. Um, but for me, um, my grandfather specifically taught me, it's not degrading. When our women, which is what my grandfather would say in Spanish, like, when our women cook for us, when they take the time to cook for us and give us this meal, like we thank them because mm -hmm. they don't need to do that. And without them, we would not be eating. We would not be here. We would not be wearing these clothes. So mm -hmm. you, you appreciate your woman mm -hmm. and you take care of your woman, just like your woman takes care of you. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather, God rest his soul. He passed away when I was about 10 years old. So a long time ago, missed him so much we were very close um instilled that in me he always taught me he was like he would say in Spanish, mijita like he would tell me in spanish like you take care of your man he goes yes you cook you clean you do these things but he also takes care of you but not only does he take care of you he respects you so just because i cook and i clean and and i do these things for my man it's not it's not um, what's the word? It's not um, degrading. For me, it is the greatest honor. Like for me, when I take care of my friends, when I take, when I cook for my friends, when I clean for my friends, for me, I feel fulfilled. And you're built you're right, like that. You're built I, like I'm that. just built like that. And maybe that's yeah. just me. And maybe that William, that's what you mean by a old school woman. Like, I don't know, because for me, like, I am not like, I need to do that for my man. Like I, I just do. Like it's something that was instilled in me by my grandmother, by my mother, by my aunts. And it's something that means a lot to me, even now with my best friend, and her husband, and even respecting him, like, but it, it's a mutual respect. It's not that I'm like, oh, like to him. And it, it's just that it's, it's a mutual respect because he gives me the same amount of respect. And it's, it maybe it's a cultural thing, obviously. Um, you know, I'm Hispanic. Um, I don't find it degrading. Mm -hmm. So I hear you when I say like these women or the, these younger generations, especially even some of my friends, they're like, I don't cook. Even that Cardi B song, I don't cook, I don't clean. But let me tell you, I got this ring. But like, um, 
Mm. I just find that difficult. Like, yes, of course, like we're, you know, we're, we're, we're adapting, we're evolving, like men should do their part. But at the same time, nothing brings me more joy than to cook a meal for my family. It's not even a man for my family, yeah. for my friends, for people I care about. For me, when I serve people, when I humble myself and when I serve people, I find joy in that. Yeah. And unfortunately, I have found people who take advantage of that, but I'm not going to change who I am or my values or what my mother and my father taught me just because somebody can't appreciate it. And I'm sure as hell not going to create this like demeanor of like this bitterness of well fuck sorry well f that like i'm not going to like deal with that i'm just going to be bitter like yeah Yeah. i've been hurt not only from my ex yeah that's that was that was a beast day but even in between that i've been hurt but why would i stop being me why would i I stop caring yeah mj i'm yeah i I mean i never said uh cooking and cleaning was degrading you're, I'm actually. You, I mean, I don't think you meant to. I just think like but, uh, I think I, your I, I, your delivery once again, William. Am I right, Kelly? Bay? Like your delivery can be a little off at times. Yeah, but um, what I'm saying that's that's what exactly what I said. That's what men are looking for. We are looking for a woman that could cook and clean. Jason, because, what do you think? Because most men are not looking. They don't. They're, that's not something they they're naturally doing. So like, if I if a guy is a provider, protector, is working so hard to. Get, be successful in his career to out there to be ambitious and dominate the world. He's looking for 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 traits. Actually, that, yeah, you should that, ask that's Jason. Opposite well. of, opposite of what, what he's looking yeah. for. But let me ask yeah, you, you Jason. Go ahead. Yeah. Jason, we would love you to guys, hear what you have yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Jason. All right. My perspective might not be the same as most single guys because I'm just coming off being married nine years and divorced last December. So, so sorry. Um, Wait, you was married? Um, yeah. He got divorced yeah, last December. Oh, right. I didn't catch the part. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Eight, eight months. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Fresh. God damn it. Um, so the roles he's talking about for a man and woman, yeah, I think it's pretty important to follow, but it's okay to freestyle every now and then. I mean, the man jumps in and takes over a role every now and then. Mm-hmm. I mean, me mm-hmm. personally, I like cooking. So sometimes I'm like, and I cook better than my wife. I ain't going to ask you to cook this because I know how to cook it better. See, I can't relate. Like when guys tell me they can cook, I'm like, right you can do but what i'm just saying like it's well, uh, you heard it here you heard it here mj on this podcast he just said he could cook <laughs> <laughs> um yeah my father my two brothers are useless without my right. sister-in-laws myself and my mother so and i know y'all are watching and you heard me brother <laughs> y'all are useless without my sister-in-laws <laughs> well, go ahead, Jason. Sorry. like i was saying it's important to know the roles like the man's the provider the like <laughs> And the woman's the nature of the caregiver. But like sometimes situations come up where the man has to take over the wife's role and then bounce back in in his role. So, I mean, going back to- You should be willing to adapt. Exactly, exactly. And then not only in a touch back on the thing where you talked about the difference between traditional dating compared to now dating, which is casual. I think the from a man's perspective, I think the biggest problem is it's, it's a lose-lose situation for a man if he takes the traditional route. Like, I'm going to date this girl for this long, then I'm going to marry her, but then something's going to happen, and then I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose seeing my kids, and I'm going to lose money. I'm going to lose, like, everything I worked hard for. The man always loses out in that situation because it's uh, usually the, the, the justice system is always aimed for the women to win in that situation. So I think that's why most men think that women these days aren't capable of being married. So they're not going to take that chance. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jason, I, I, want, I want to ask you, uh, just to go off what Jason, Jason said, yeah, like um, I'm, not, I'm not saying that uh, a man is not willing to cook and clean for, for his, the woman he loves. What I'm saying is if you make that a requirement, like there's a lot of women out there to say, hey, uh, if you want to be with me, um, you have to cook and clean. I can cook and clean for myself. I I've been that's stuff, true. I, I've been no, there's women, there's women that where on my podcast, you really 50, like you you've encountered 50, women like that? 50 50 partnership that they say we everything's 50-50. If you want to be with me, you have to be able to cook and clean. And for a man, it's like 
No, if you if you require that as mandatory to be with you, a man will naturally go to a woman that's willing to accept her her role, just like you, MJ. You willingly to cook and clean. There's a lot of women that's willing to accept that role. So, if the like I said, I can cook and clean. But if I'm with if a woman tells me, hey, if you want to be with me, you better cook and clean for me. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good with that. I'd rather go with the girl that's so willing, on the same willing narrative, to do it. So on your same logic, like I shouldn't be with a man who demands me to cook and clean. Because most men won't cook and clean. They're, they're but you just said you would not be with a woman who says, I need you to cook and clean for me. But you're also saying that like in order for a relationship or an alpha male to want a woman that he she needs to cook and clean. So if I say I don't want to cook and clean for you, how is that? Then I'm going to find a woman that's natural in a role today that was willing to cook and clean. Because women are looking. So you uh, women, would still hold on, hold on. Will so basically you still stay in that relationship until you find your cooking and cleaning, or you will detach from that relationship until you find cooking and cleaning. Yeah, it, it, I won't. I won't take that woman seriously if long term for marriage. So and would I'll you be, tell this female? And would you tell this female straight up like, hey, you know what? No, I'm not. You, you know, I want to. No, I want to hear. And you too, Jason. No, for me, like for me, uh, if I'm gonna commit to a woman, I would want to be with a woman that's natural in the no, right role, that's, that's feminine. Not that's not what I said. I, my question to you was, if you're in a relationship with this particular female, right, and then you find other qualities that you like, but then she can't cook and clean or whatever, would you mm -hmm. honestly tell this female, mm -hmm. hey, you know what, like we're gonna? Cut I would. I would. I wouldn't even be with her. I wouldn't even get to that point. Oh. William. Huh? So what you talking about? What you so basically what you're saying we're is trying uh, to help you, my guy, my guy, my guy, William, William. Oh look, you're if, telling if, me that if a woman checked all your boxes, A, B, C, one, two, three, but she was like, "Hey, sorry, I just don't know how to cook," or and I don't really, I'm kind of messy. You'd be done. Yes, because there's other women out there that's willing to cook and clean. There's there's women out there. That can cook and clean and provide. What does provide, that have to do? It. So that's like a moral for you. Like you need that. No, Jason, do you need that but, too? Jason, do you feel the same? No, nah, because I could do it all myself. I don't need that. Jason, let me. Jason, let me sure. ask you this question. Jason, Jason, if you meet two women, right? Two women, and Jason. Everything's equal. Everything is equal. Two women. Everything's you know equal. No, we're talking about every, every, Everything's equal. Uh, mm -hmm. That everything's the same, but one of them can't cook and clean. One of them can cook and clean and loves to cook and clean. Everything's equal on both of them. One can't cook and clean. She hates cooking and cleaning. One loves to cook and clean. Which one do you pick? Everything equal. Both of it. Huh? I think I cook and clean. There, boom. You go. You just God damn my it, point. Jason. We were rooting for you. You just answered my point. Well, the thing is, whenever it comes to stuff like that, yeah, it sounds bad when you say it out loud with words. Like, I want That's a woman who cooks and cleans. But the thing I is, don't, you don't, I don't, I don't come nope, in there expecting. No, no, no. That's what's wrong right now. Clean. That's exactly what's wrong right now. You guys say that you got females are going around saying they want six, four, this, that, whatever. You guys got wants too. You definitely got wants. So you guys just proved that right now. So at the end of the day, yeah. Will, you're wrong. And Jason, you're wrong because no. at the end of the day, wait, wait, let me no, finish. No, 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 wait, let me finish. Yep. At speaking. the end of the day, if there is something that is incorrect with this particular female, maybe she didn't have a mother. Maybe she didn't have a female in her life. Mm -hmm. If you l l checked off everything else, dot the I's and cross the teeth on everything else is female, then why can't you go ahead and help this female be better? And that way you guys can grow together 100%. because she had a flaw. You know what I'm saying? She had a flaw, and, which was cooking and cleaning. But what you said is everything else is good. Everything else is the same, but it was just these particular things. If you know how to cook and clean, why don't you go ahead and help her to be better? Because I'm pretty sure you got flaws too that she can help you to go ahead and make you guys be one. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you both need to evaluate because you guys are saying females choose, men has it too. So you guys got to help out a female, just like how you guys are saying females need to help out a male. You want us to be nurturing and caring. I'm pretty sure you have a heart too. You know what I'm okay. saying? You have a heart too. Okay, let me the same okay. thing. Like, I'm, I'm gonna call you out, William. I'm so sorry, babe. But like, do you remember when we first talked? When we first spoke, right? Uh, before like the podcast, and and I was I was getting McDonald's because I am who I am. So he goes, okay. So what do you look for in a man? And I and I was I was honest. I said I just want at this point, shit, the bar is so low. I just want someone to like me. Like 
I don't even know. Like, I just want, he goes, so you're telling me right now you date somebody who works at McDonald's. And I said, uh, no. I don't know. Like, yeah. that's not fair to ask. He goes, so you date somebody who wasn't six foot, which is specifically what you said, William. And I go, yeah. I don't know. And then he goes, yeah, see, so like you have these parameters, like you have these things. So like, but at the same time, you're telling me that if a woman meets every other aspect of what you desire, except she can't cook, she can't cook, she doesn't really clean, she's kind of messy, you're done. Well, okay, let me let me ask you, MJ, if there's a like, guy. Is right that not a high, like, is that not a contradiction? No, I mean, I just, for me, I would just, number one, like, this isn't my, this is what I think is, uh, I just find that the conversation is men and women have preferences. So, Women, you guys are open to people change. have preferences. Yeah, yes. men, but, but yes, but their preferences based on what we look for, based on our biology of what men and women, masculine and feminine. So for women, do you guys would say it's okay for women to say, hey, I want to provide a protector. I want a strong guy. I want a guy that's ambitious. I want a guy that's a masculine. I want a guy that's dominant. It's alpha, right? And, and women openly say this, and you guys uh, can say your preferences. But if, a man, but if a man says, hey, I want a woman that's feminine. I want a woman that's, that can cook and clean. That's the same preferences but that you why got. why can't a woman cook and clean and be alpha? Why? Uh, because if you're a very, uh, why a woman You're going to look me. Clean? I'm interrupting you, honey. I'm sorry. You're going to no, no, look go ahead, at go me ahead. and tell me that I can't cook a full course meal for my man and take care of my man in every physical and every way, but also be a boss and go on you know like also let, let me take this moment to say like COVID is is real y'all like COVID is rising mm -hmm. and as a as a graduate nurse and as somebody who's a healthcare professional I'm so sorry to take this moment in this platform to take a moment like y'all be careful like just be careful it's very serious um I don't even think I realized how serious it was until I was the nurse in that unit. So you're going to tell me, William, that I can't be a boss and be an alpha and literally save lives and then come home and cook for my man and be a beta. You're telling me I, that's not one no, of the same no, person. No, no, I didn't say that. That's, I said cooking and cleaning is interesting. Said, wait. Am I, I said, sorry? I said, I said, I've, I've said on this podcast, cooking and cleaning is what girl, men are looking for. Girl, are you hearing this? What did I say? Cooking oh. and cleaning is something that men avoid. I just said cooking and cleaning oh, are qualities that men are looking for. 